Philadelphia's Comic-Con allows thousands of people to get their geek on, but the main attraction this year was Philadelphia's best cover band, The Zings. What started off as a simple five-person band has grown into one of the most recognized group of rock stars around the world. These superstars are so humble and grounded that they still set up their own equipment, despite the many distractions Comic-Con has to offer. Distractions? There are no distractions, man. Everybody's here to see us. It's all about us. So, I mean, there's no, there's no need to even work. Sorry about that. Oh, all right. Uh, so, like I was saying, like, we are the main reason that this place draws 80,000 people. So. It's a big crowd here at Comic-Con, and I'm really hoping that I don't get distracted looking at all this. There are tons of fans lined up to see the Zings perform, so it must put pressure on the band to play their absolute best. Basically, I don't care about the fans. Probably about 12 people last crowd. So this crowd's going to be pretty good because there's at least 2,000 people maybe. So it's a big step up from our last gig. As the crowd stood with anticipation, we decided to talk to some of the die-hard Zing fans about why they love the band so much. The Zings, I do not know who the Zings are. I've never heard of the Zings. We never heard of the Zings. They don't even sound that cool. I don't even know no, they kind of suck. I mean, I haven't seen anything worse in a long time. It looks like everyone gave the band two thumbs up and are ready to watch them perform. Wow, watching everyone jam on stage together makes you wonder, who's the band's sex symbol? I would say that the sex symbol in the band, I would probably definitely say is Andre. What's great about being the drummer is that I get to look at his ass all night. Now Brad, he's okay too. Who's the band's sex symbol? I mean, need I say more? It's hard to pinpoint the source of the Zing sex appeal, so we went into the crowd to talk about their unique and most importantly, sexy sound. I am Grichos. Zing sucks! They killed my family! Zings, worst band I've ever heard. And you know what? They're actually so bad, I don't think I've even heard of the Zings. Yeah, I think they're worse than the Purple Cobras. That's how bad they are. I've never heard of the Zings before? But I'm on this side of the stadium because I'm trying to get away from whatever they're doing over there. With one of the most dedicated fan bases, it's going to be hard for anyone to dethrone the Zings from being Philadelphia's best cover band. The only question left to ask is, what's next for the sensational band known as the Zings? We're gonna skip over to Bonnaroo. I think we had a uh, Sweet 16 party uh, at the uh, McGuire's house. Uh, we have Burning Man, Coachella. I don't know. We're gonna, I think like tomorrow night we're at the Arnormo Dome or something. Um, and then, oh, the Super Bowl. We'll see you there.